Yeah, we back. Now, in the last video, I had said that I'm not going to believe none of this nonsense until Tariq Nasheed produces the security footage. Now, Tariq Nasheed done put up some security footage. Now, the quality of the footage is definitely not up to modern standards. I mean, this is like some, I mean, what kind of security camera is this, bro? Like, nowadays, we got the 4K Super HD 1080p type cameras. Like, wh what, bro? Like, <laughs> y'all need to update y'all technology, man. Like, man, y'all still... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man. due to the fact that Tariq Nasheed is still using camera equipment from 1996, unfortunately, we cannot get an HD picture of what is going on. But if you take a look up on the screen, I believe this is the incident between Tariq Bey and Tariq Nasheed, right? And what you see is, it looks like, you know, pardon me because I wear glasses, you know, my vision was never the best. So I'll do what I can, but it looks like Tahaka Bay is kind of it's kind of moving backwards and Tariq Nasheed is advancing onto the adversary. Now, first things first, if you saw the tweet that Tariq Nasheed put out, I mean, this dude is a federal agent. This dude is the police man. He's not a street dude. First of all, what street dude refers to another black man as a lifelong violent criminal who's threatening me and flew out to confront me? Bro, I'm telling y'all, I don't have a problem with anything that Tariq does, but please stop claiming you're a street dude. Just say, listen, I'm a square, I'm a nerd, I'm a geek, I'm a lame, and let it just be that. Let it just be that. I'm just a lame. I'm just a geek with a convenience store. <laughs> just say that. Stop saying you was a street dude. Stop saying that you had the chicks on the track. Stop saying that you had the chicks on the blade. Stop saying you came from the streets. Stop saying it. Stop saying it. <laughs> just stop it, bro. Stop it. Stop. Nobody believes you. Nobody believes you. And even if we did by happenstance believe your so-called street reputation, then why are you going to court tomorrow filing a restraining order against another black man? Ironically, using the same exact language that you are launching against Tahaka Bay. You are saying Tahaka Bay is a lifelong violent criminal coming to threaten you and you scared for your life. And now the same thing you said against the good brother Brandon. pan Africanism strikes back. You said, oh man, I'm scared for my life. I'm scared for my life. I'm scared for my family's life. Listen, bro, you're a public figure. You're a public figure. You advertise. You advertise the event. You advertise the location. You tell people to come out. The same way a comedian, an artist, a performer, they might schedule an event. They might advertise an event. And guess what? It might be hecklers in the crowd. It might be haters in the crowd. Do they go to court every time there's a heckler in the crowd? Do they feel threatened and run for their life every time a heckler's in the crowd? Ask yourself that, bro. Ask yourself that. Because you the self-proclaimed street dude. You the one who wrote books about your time in the streets, your war stories in the streets. I ain't never been in the streets. Lifelong resident of the sidewalk. But my thing is this. If people were to take legal action against you, would they be in the wrong? Would you call them a snitch? Would you call them the police? Because you have no proof that he came to confront you and do harm to you for you to escalate the situation into violence. But for some reason, you've already taken other black men to court who've never done anything to you physically, who've never even been in the same vicinity as you. So what to Harker Bay be wrong to go to the same white man's court system that you went to against Brandon, a.k.a. Pan-Africanism Strikes Back? What to Harker Bay be wrong to file a case against you? You actually committed violence to him. Brandon has not even been around you and you took him to court. So it's in my opinion. I don't know the history of Tarka Bay. I don't know his background. I don't know his biography. But if he's a lifelong resident of the sidewalk like me, I think he's in full liberty to go to go down to the court go down to the courthouse file a lawsuit file a case do whatever i'm not familiar with the process because i never went down to the courthouse against another black man so pardon me for my ignorance but if talker bay is a lifelong resident of the sidewalk like me a lifelong resident of the pavement like me i think it's time to take legal action man hey talker if you're listening i think it's time to take legal action as a taxpaying citizen as an american citizen isn't that what Tariq says as an american citizen you know the constitution the american flag the founding fathers all that bullshit so listen so I could bait. Go down to the courthouse. Fire your case, my boy. Fire your case. You got my blessing. Fire your case. Fire your case. Take that man to court, man. Take that man to court the same way he taking other black men to court. There's no law in the books that says you're not allowed to come to his janky ass 7-Eleven. Ain't no law that says you can't come to his janky ass post office. That little bagel shop ain't top secret government territory. That little bullshit ain't prohibited from the public. Anybody could pull up on that dustbin, nigga. I don't even know why you even hired security as if that's some precious material to be guarded. Nigga, ain't nobody about to come up on your little garbage dump, nigga. And if you really built like that, if you really built like that, then how come you went to court against Brandon? If you really built like that, how come you how come you went to court against Brandon? The streets need to know that. If you a street dude, you came up in the streets, you from the streets, how come you didn't keep it in the streets when it came to Brandon, aka pan Africanism Strikes Back? How come you ain't keep it in the street? How come you went to your cartoons? How come you went to your courthouse? Why ain't you see him man to man face to face? We already know the answer to that. Because you know that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu man, pop your damn shoulder out your socket and pop your neck off your damn spinal column, nigga. <laughs> Anyways, man, it's your boy Devakari that's a lame back in the building. Yes indeed. Like, share, subscribe, cash app in the description. To Hawker, go to court, file your case, man, take him for everything he got, man. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I 
left on a horse and came back in that ass and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pavements, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty I fought it. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart it be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling it. Attention. Enemy watching me blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make no hour with it. Wage, I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you in court. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go. Go to the source, packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so at least. Shorty be charged that I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.